So I've been getting some comments like, um, should I go tuition for this subject and which subject should I go tuition to? And I did reply to these comments, but then I feel like a lot of you guys will have the same doubts and that this question deserves a further elaboration. So I hope that this video will help you to make up your mind on whether to go to tuition and which tuition to go to. Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be answering your questions of um, is tuition necessary and which tuition to attend. First off, I know where you're coming from because when I was in Form 4, I had doubts about which tuition to attend to as well. There are only so many hours in a day and then you have to pick out which subjects you have to go to tuition for and whether it is necessary or not. So to answer your question, no, tuition is not something that is necessary to do well in SPM. But will it be helpful? Yes, and I'll tell you why in a few moments. So which subjects do we need tuition for? Like if we're talking about someone who is averagely good at everything, meaning if we're not taking the weaknesses or the strengths of that person into consideration, then I would say that the subjects to go tuition for is physics, chemistry, and additional mathematics, just because these are the subjects which require thorough understanding. But then, of course, when you take each individual's strengths and weaknesses into consideration, then the subjects that you need to attend tuition for vary between each individual. Here is just a little guide on whether a tuition for a particular subject is for you. In my opinion, it is necessary to attend tuition for a subject if, number one, you are very weak at that subject and you have been working very hard at it, but you still can't seem to do well in that subject. Especially if you are in Form 5 already and your grades for that particular subject has never been higher than a C, then maybe you should consider tuition for that subject. And number two, if you can't seem to understand what your teacher is teaching in school. Like this happens sometimes, your friends are fine with it, but then the way that teacher delivers the material is just not for you and you just can't seem to understand what he or she is saying and especially for difficult subjects like physics and additional mathematics which require thorough understanding it is rather difficult to like read the subject on your own without guidance then maybe you could consider tuition to improve this problem and now i have some tips for you when you are choosing tuition centers because choosing tuition centers is very important because going to the right one will improve your grades and then like going to the wrong one will do nothing at all but waste your time. So tip number one is to make sure that that tuition is not too big of a group until you can't even interact with the teacher. Like if it's a big group then make sure that you're getting a good seat because the whole point of tuition is so that you get extra guidance. So there's really no point going if you cannot even interact with the teacher and you don't even know what is going on. Number two is to try it out first. You can go to a certain tuition for a month and see how you're doing, um, evaluate your progress and see how well you're understanding the chapters that are being taught. Like if you can understand it, then great, you can continue with the tuition. But if you still cannot understand anything, then maybe you should consider transferring to another tuition center. Tip number three is the time of the tuition. Make sure that the time of the tuition is okay for you and you are not too tired or sleepy at that time. When I was in Form 4, I had my admin tuition right after extracurricular activities at school. So I'm always super tired and sleepy during that tuition and I almost fall asleep every single time. So it took me a while to like realize the problem but then I eventually transferred to another tuition and I did so much better after that. If you are experiencing the same thing and you are always super tired at a certain tuition class, then maybe you should consider switching it to another tuition class because the time just isn't right for you. You are always sleepy during that time and you cannot focus. You are not absorbing the things that are being taught no matter how good the tuition teacher is. So you are just wasting your time and money. Tip number four is to find out about the tuition teachers from your senior or from your friends. You can save yourself some time and money if you do the survey beforehand. 
talk to your senior and your friends and try to find out how the tuition teacher teaches like how he or she delivers the material and is the tuition effective for them just find out beforehand and then you can make the decision whether to attend that tuition it is definitely a bonus if your tuition teacher is one of the examiners for SPM as they always know what is going on now we'll move on to the pros and cons of tuition for the pros Number one, you will need less self-discipline for revision. This is just because when you are in tuition, you are forced to learn whatever that teacher is teaching you and you are forced to do whatever he or she wants you to do. Like if you are at home, it is full of distractions and most of the time you might end up doing nothing at all. And advantage number two is that you are automatically focusing on your weak subjects. Like if you attend tuition for your weak subjects, then you are automatically spending more time on that subjects without having to consciously do it on your own. And also you will get extra guidance on that subject because um, that's your tuition teacher and whatever you don't understand, you can always go to him or her for extra guidance. Tip number three is that you will get insight on how the SPM paper is marked. This last one depends on which tuition center you attend and which teachers are teaching that. If your tuition teacher is part of the examiners of SPM and if he or she is an experienced SPM marker, then that's great because they will expose you on how the SPM paper is marked and they will know how the marks are rewarded and deducted and all those important little details. Now we'll move on to cons. Um, the first disadvantage of attending tuition is that you will feel constantly tired and you won't have time for your own revision. However, this can be avoided if you attend tuition for necessary subjects only. Do not overpack your schedule until you feel like you don't have time to rest at all and this will just make you super stressed out and you cannot do revision properly. So really plan out which day you want to attend tuition to and which day is your rest day. Disadvantage number two is over-reliance on tuition. Some people might feel like, okay, since I'm attending tuition for this class, then I do not need to pay attention in school and I can still do well. Um, that mindset is very wrong because tuition is a supplementary class and you cannot depend 100% on the tuition. It is very, very important that you pay full attention both in school and in tuition. This advantage number three is attending tuition might end up becoming a waste of money. This really depends on individuals and like some people they go to tuition but then they are constantly on their phones and some even have their headphones on. So I'm just saying that if you want to listen to music during tuition class then you might as well be at home during that time. But if you are attending tuition for that subject Make sure that you are fully there and you are fully attentive so that it's not a waste of your time and money. That's all I have to say on tuition. And if you are curious on which subjects I attended tuition for, I attended tuition for the three science subjects, Bahasa Malaysia and Additional Mathematics. So that's all for this video. I hope that this video has helped you to decide whether to attend tuition and which tuition to attend to. Please remember to give this video a like if you found it helpful and you can subscribe to my channel so that you are notified whenever I post new videos. I have a lot of videos like under planning and so there will be a lot of new videos within the nearest time so yeah subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!